This posterior capsule stretch is designed to open up the soft tissue structure as well as the backside of the capsule of your hip. So in a similar stretch that might look like a pigeon pose, uh, if I'm very tight and I'm, I'm very restricted, it's gonna be difficult for me to even get into that big external rotation and flexion required for the pigeon pose. So it's also a good stretch for people who are, are a little tight going into pigeon. So I'm gonna start off on all fours and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to stretch my right side. I'm gonna to start to rotate my left side around my right. So as you can see, I'm, I'm basically doing a pigeon stretch, but I'm doing it by moving the rest of my body into the stretch. And that way I'm able to really maximize how much of that rotation I can comfortably get into, as opposed to having to work its way up in an open chain fashion. So again, from this angle, you can see I'm gonna reach around. Sometimes if you're loose enough, you can just sink all the way into that big stretch. If you're a little tighter, you might have to kind of walk yourself into that rotation. And then from there, you're gonna try and stick your leg into the ground and just work yourself into that pigeon type position. And there I can really feel a nice deep stretch because I've been anchored on this right side. So from a bit more of a different angle, you can see I'm gonna reach around this leg and get into that deep pigeon stretch. We can make this a very dynamic stretch by starting off with this hip flexor, hip flexor stretch and work into a dynamic posterior capsule stretch. So I can perform my typical half kneeling hip flexor stretch and then bounce that right into my posterior capsule stretch. And that way I'm nice and dynamic and flowing through this movement. And it's a really good exercise or flow to hit the front side and the back side of your hip girdle. 